Hi all, in this video I am going to solve 50 MCQs in control system. Problem number 1. For the network given in figure, B i of t is the input and i of t is the output. The transfer function i of s divided by B i of s of the network is. In this network, consist of 1 power supply, then R, L and C, passive components. First of all, I am going to write the voltage equation. So, voltage rise equal to voltage drop. So, the first voltage drop by R, R into I of T. Next, L into B, I of T divided by Dt. For capacitance, 1 by C into integral I dt, I of t into dt. Then take the Laplace transformation of this equation. So, B I of S equal to R into I of S. What is the differentiation? The Laplace transform that is L into S I of S. For the integration, 1 by Cs into I of S. Then take I of S outside. So I of S of R plus Ls plus 1 by Cs. That is V I of S. So V I of S is equal to I of S into take LCM. So R C S yes, plus L C S square plus 1 divided by C S. So what is I of S divided by B I of S that is equal to C of C S divided by R C S plus L C S square. So first write LC square, then write RCS plus 1. So the option A is the correct answer. Problem 2. The equivalent transfer function of three parallel blocks G1 of S is 1 by S plus 2, G2 of S is 1 by S plus 3, G3 of S is S plus 2 divided by S plus 3. 5 is when three blocks are connected in parallel what is the resultant block resultant block g of s is summation of g1 of s g2 of s and g3 of s next i am going to add these three blocks 1 by s plus 2 plus 1 by s plus 3 plus s plus 2 divided by s plus 5. Next I am going to take the LCM in the denominator s plus 2, s plus 3, s plus 5, numerator s plus 3 into s plus 5, s plus 2 into s plus 5, plus s plus 2 into S plus 2 into S plus 3. Have to multiply this. S square plus 8S plus 15 plus S square plus 7S plus 10 plus S plus 2 the whole square. Both the terms. S plus 2 the whole square is S square plus 4S plus 4. That is S square plus 4S plus 4 is multiplied with S plus 3. That is S cube plus 3S square plus 4S square plus 12S plus 4S plus 12. Okay, so S cube plus 3S square 7S square plus 16S plus 12 divided by S plus 2 into S plus 3 into S plus 5. So, 
the answer is s q first write s q then summed up all the s square 2 s square that is 9 s square plus 8 s 15 s plus 31 s 25 plus 12 that is 37 divided by s plus 2 in the s plus 3 in the s plus 5 so option C is the correct answer. Problem number 3. The block having transfer function g1 of s is 1 by s plus 2, g2 of s is 1 by s plus 3, g3 of s is s plus 2 divided by s plus 5 or cascaded. The equivalent transfer function is if three blocks are connected in cascade means Three are connected in series. So if three blocks are connected in series, how we get the resultant value g of s is the multiplication of the transfer function of block 1, block 2 and block 3. So first you have to write block 1 s plus 2 into 1 by s plus 3 into s plus 2 divided by s plus 5. The answer is s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 3 into s plus 5. Both are get cancelled. The answer is 1 by s plus 3 into s plus 5. So option B is the correct answer. Next problem. Problem 4. The block diagram shown in figure A is to be represented as in figure B for what value of H of S. Okay. Here now I am going to redraw this diagram. First of all I am going to move the takeoff point after the block. If I move the takeoff point after the block, I have to divide the um, uh, divide this value by divide 4 by 1 plus s. Okay, I have to redraw the diagram. I am going to move the takeoff point after the block. So here 1 by s. Yes. Now I am going to move the takeoff point after the block. So 4 divided by 1 by s. Yes. Okay, next already it is presented. So both are the input of the summing block. So this is the parallel combination. And it is again connected to the negative. Okay, C of S. Yes. Here, R of S. Yes. Here, now I am going to reduce this. So, positive, negative. Here, 10 divided by S yes plus 3. 1 by S. Yes. Next, I am going to add both the blocks. Both are connected in parallel. So, 4 s yes plus 1. 4 divided by 1 by s, yes, 4 s. Here, this is 1. The gain is 1. So, 4 s plus 1. 4 s plus 1. Again, it is connected here. Okay. So, the answer is 4 s plus 1. Option A is the correct answer. Problem 5. The transfer function C by R of the block diagram given below. So first of all I am going to reduce these blocks. Here G1, G2 are connected in series. So result in this G1, G2. Okay here G1, G2. It is in the negative feedback loop. So how to reduce this? The formula is G divided by 1 plus GH. 
so g1 g2 forward path gain so 1 plus g1 g2 into h1 and next again this one is in the forward path and feedback is h2 so g1 g2 c by s is equal to g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 the whole divided by 1 plus g1 g2 1 plus g1 g2 h1 into feedback gain h2 okay so g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 the whole divided by 1 plus 1 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g1 g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 both are get cancelled the final answer g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 of h1 plus h2 so option b is the correct answer problem 6 the overall transfer function of the system in figure here this is a block diagram somewhat complicated so first of all i am going to uh, draw uh, draw the equivalent signal flow graph for this block diagram for a first summing block i have to put one uh, one point for the first summing block and next I have to put one dot for the second takeoff point one dot i have to put and next the third summing block I have to, uh, second summing block i have to put one one dot and then here also have to put one dot and for the summing point have to put one dot and here this point also have to put one dot now I have to connect first u u is connected to this one so this is one and it is connected to the next x1 by means of g gain g next this is connected to y by means of the gain 1 and this is connected to the summing block by means of 1 and here by g and this is connected to y by 1 and next this is connected to this point connected to this point the direction is upward direction that is h and here this is connected to this point and downward direction h. This is the equivalent signal flow graph for the given block diagram. So from this I am easily solve this and find out the transfer function. The transfer function y by u that is equal to forward path number of forward path divided by the delta. So sum of the forward path. So the first forward path, here this is the first forward path that is 1, G and G then Y. And second forward path at the same, 1, G, 1, Y. And the third forward path is 1, then H, then G, again Y. And fourth is 1 and then G, H, G, Y. So first of all, I am having 4 forward path here. So I am going to write the forward path. So first forward path is, this is the first one, G. Plus second forward path is, this is the second forward path plus G. The third forward path is, this h and g again so g square h and next forward path also g square h okay next i am going to find out the feedback loop so how many feedback loop first of all c g then h again g 
then it is finished with this point g height g height so 1 minus the first feedback loop is g square h square 2g plus 2g square height divided by 1 minus g square h square going to reduce this equation so how to reduce this i am going to reduce this equation so 2 into g so here 1 plus g height divided by a square minus b square formula you have to apply so 1 ma minus g height the whole square that is 1 minus g height into 1 plus g height both the 1 plus g height get cancelled we get the answer 2g divided by 1 minus g height option b, b is the correct answer next problem the block diagram shown in figure is equivalent to here the block diagram with gone on gain is given if the takeoff point is taken before the block taken before the block then the gain is multiplied then the gain is multiplied so the answer b is the correct answer already there is no gain there is a gain one is there before the block so gain is multiplied one into g so option b is the correct answer next problem 8 which one of the four signal flow graphs shown in a b c d represents the block diagram shown in given figure so first of all for a takeoff point i have to put one dot for a summing point put one dot and takeoff point have to put one dot and here also the takeoff uh, summing point have to put one dot here I have to put r so here the one the gain and the gain is g1 and the gain is g2 then it is connected to c gain is 1 it is connected to uh, summing point by h2 and is connected to the summing point by g3 okay both are connected together so this is the gain is 1 now both are the gain is 1 so I can read uh, here I have to draw like this okay have to draw like this so two loops and g1 g2 are there so what is the answer option a is the correct answer remaining all signal flow graph is different from this signal flow graph problem, problem number nine in the signal flow graph shown in figure below the sum of loop gain of non-touching loop here two one pair of non-touching loop this is the one of the loop and this is the next that is a self loop both are non-touching loop here I am going to find out the sum of this non-touching loop the first loop the gain is i into b the loop gain of first loop sorry i into b and second loop the gain is f so ib plus f that is the correct answer option a is the correct answer next problem Consider the list 1 and list 2. See A, both are connected in series. So A, B, A, B is the correct answer. Here both are connected in parallel. So A plus B is the correct answer. This is A, B. And here um, the forward block, forward path is gain is A. And 1 minus single loop is available 1 minus B. A by A by 1 minus B. So, 3 is the correct answer. And for D, A divided by 1 minus, this is the loop, 1 minus A, B. So, A my, divided by 1 minus A, B, 2 is the correct answer. So, option C is the correct answer. 4, then 1 and 3 
and again 2. So option C is the correct answer. Consider the SFT shown in figure below. The value of delta for this graph. So it is delta 1 minus sum of integer loop plus sum of 2 non-touching loop. 2 non-touching loop and minus 3 non-touching loop and so on. So first of all, I am going to find out the sum of the loops. So first what is the loop? This is the first loop. Okay. So delta 1 minus sum of the first loop is G1 in the minus H1 minus G1 H1. And next I am going to find out the second loop. So this is the second loop minus G1, G2, H1. Sorry, H2. And next, the third loop. This is the third loop. That is minus G2, G3, H3. And next, the fourth loop. That is G4, H3, G1. Minus G4, H3, G4, then H3, G1. So next is G4, H3, H1, not G1, minus H1. So this is plus. Again, G4, H3, G2, H2. G4, G4, H3. G2 then H2. G2 H2. So I have to rewrite this 1 minus 1 plus G1 H1 plus G1 G2 H2 plus G2 G3 H3 minus G3 sorry G4 H3 H1 minus G4, G2, H2, H3. So option C is the correct answer. This problem, the transmittance from X to Y in the signal flow graph shown in figure. So transmittance or gain. So Y by S, Y by X is equal to forward path. So this is the forward path 1. Forward path gain. So, another one forward path, 1. So, this is the next forward path. Divided by 1 minus sum of individual loop gain. So, here only one self loop minus 2. So, answer is 2 divided by 3. Option C is the correct answer. So the third one, the forward path gain. So here this is the 2 and this is 1. And forward path gain is AC. Here AD plus AD. And 1 minus sum of individual loop. Here only 1 loop, 1 minus AB. So C is equal to 4 and D is equal to 3. So here forward path is AC plus BC divided by 1 minus the loop is CD. 
So the answer is C. 13. Option C is the correct answer. And next for the SFG shown in figure. Figure below the graph delta is. So first of all I am going to find out the integer loops. So here BC is the one loop and FG is the next loop. Then next loop is B, C, D, C, then F, G. These are the non-touching loop. And next C, I, C, then I. So now I am going to write the equation. So delta equal to 1 minus sum of individual loops. So this is the first loop minus BC. This is the second loop minus FG. And next the loop is C, J, G, I. C, C. I, G, J, G, J, this is plus, then plus two non-touching loop, this is the one of the loop, this is the next loop, both are non-touching, B, C, F, G, so one plus B, C, plus F, G, minus C, I, G, J, plus B, C, FG is the correct answer. So option D is the correct answer. Okay. So first forward path is R, S, U. And the second forward path is E, F, E, F, sorry, C, F, H. This is the second forward path. So next sum of the individual loops. So 1 minus ST. Here FG plus FG plus ST FG. So this is the sum of the individual loop and two non-touching loop. This is the non-touching loop. There is no other loops are available other than this. Okay, now RSU plus CFH that is equal to 1 minus ST minus FG minus ST FG. So RSU into the loop that is not touching in the kth forward path 1 minus FG. Here not touching in the forward path ST. So RSU into 1 minus FG plus CFH into 1 minus ST. The whole divided by 1 minus ST into 1 minus FG. Can I write like this? Now I have to separate the terms. So here FG, FG get cancel. RSU divided by 1 minus ST. And the next one is plus CFH divided by 1 minus FG because 1 minus ST, ST cancel. Option A is the correct answer. Here C. Consider the system shown in figure. If the forward path gain is reduced by 10% in each system, then the variation in C1, C2 respectively. The answer is, here this is the open loop system and this is the closed loop system. In a open loop system, gain is changed by 10%. So then 
C1 also changed by 10 percentage. But in a closed loop system, the C2 by R2 that is 10 divided by yet B feedback is there 10 divided by 10 plus 1 10 by 11 that is equal to 0 0.909 but here it is changed by forward path is changed by 10 percentage so 10 into 10 by 100 so 1 so 10 minus 1 that is 9 so 10 minus 1 9 for the 9 value, I am going to find out C2 by R2. Okay, 9 divided by 9 plus 1, 10. So that is 0 0.9. So 0 0.909, it is subtracted with 0 0.9. So 900. 0, 0. So can I write 0 0.01? So that is 1 percentage. So the answer is 16. The answer is A. 10 percentage and 1 percentage. Next problem, the signal flow graph is shown in figure. Find the transfer function y2 by y1. So y2 by y1. So for finding the transfer function, first finding out the forward path gain. So what is the forward path gain? Here, the forward path is 1, y1 to y2, 1. And the loop that is not touching in the gate forward path. This forward path is 1 minus the individual loop that is minus g2 h1. It is not touching in this path. So 1 minus of minus g2 h2 divided by delta. So what is the answer? 1 plus g2 h2 divided by delta. This is the correct answer. So option B is the correct answer. Next, for the signal flow graph shown below, y by x is equal to, so forward path is 3, multiply all the gains from x to y and divided by 1 minus the loop, gain of the loop, that is 3. So the answer is minus 3 divided by 2. So option D is the correct answer. Next, for the given system block, the equivalent unity feedback forward transfer function. So forward transfer function is to find out the GE of S divided by 1 plus g of s equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. And from this I am going to find out g e of s. So g e of s equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s minus g of s. So the answer is c. C is the correct answer. Problem Y5 by Y1 in the given signal flow graph. Okay, here Y5 divided by Y1. So Y1 to Y5. So first find out the forward path. Here G1 into G2, one of the forward path. G1, G2 and G3. And the next forward path is G4, G3. G4, G3. Forward paths are over. Then find out the delta. So 1 minus sum of individual loops. G minus G1, H1. And next minus G3, minus G3, H2. H2. And next G3. G3, G4, sorry, G4, then G3, then highs 3. G4, G3, then highs 3. So minus G4, G3, highs 3. 
and next g1 g2 g3 is 3 minus g1 g2 g3 is 3 and two non touching loops are g minus g1 h1 minus g3 is 3 so g1 h1 g3 is 3 these are the non touching loop okay now i am going to find out the answer g1 g2 g3 that is the numerator g4 g3 in the denominator 1 plus g1 h1 plus g3 g3 h2 plus g3 g4 h3 plus g1 g2 g3 h3 plus g1 h1 g3 h3 g1 h1 g1 h1 g3 h3 g1 h1 g1 h1 g3 h2 h2 sorry h2 so option a is the correct answer next statement for the link question 21 a feedback control system block diagram is shown what will be the transfer function h of s such that the output c of s is not affected by the noise n of s here how to find out the c of s divided by n of s that is equal to at r of s is equal to 0 that is 1 divided by 1 plus g of s divided by 1 plus g of s in the h of s that is equivalent to 0 from this equation 1 plus g of s in the h of s equal to 0. So h of s is equal to minus 1 by g of s. So the answer is minus s in the s plus 1 in the s plus 2 divided by k in the s plus 3. So, option B is the correct answer. That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day.